Hey everybody, welcome back to the gym box. We got a great treadmill class for you today. I'm Jen, so let's get started. You ready to go? All right, push start on that treadmill and let's get you walking. Okay, just take it to a nice brisk walk. I'm gonna take mine to a 4.0. Okay, so I want you to keep in mind throughout the whole class, you can go your own speed. You can always go higher than me. You can always go lower than me, okay? Up to you. What I want you to try and do is just stay with me as far as the incline goes and as far as the pattern of what we're doing, okay? Whether we're doing hills, um, that kind of thing, I want you to take it up, take it down with me, but you can always adjust your speed where you need to be, okay? All right. So your pace should be a nice, walk okay maybe not your fastest yet but definitely faster than a little stroll out in the park okay we're walking to exercise good just relax that neck shoulders are down okay our chest is lifted And keep those arms moving. All right, so today we're gonna take on a couple pretty good heels. Um, we're also gonna do a few sprints, okay? They're not, they're not gonna be really quick sprints, but they're gonna be sprints for this class, all the same, so. And we'll throw in a couple other little things in there too, so should go by fast. Hopefully you'll get a great workout. Ah, just get breathing, hopefully. You're starting to get a little bit warmed up. Yeah, that blood's starting to flow. Good, take nice, long strides. Rolling through that entire foot, landing with your heel, rolling through, and then kind of almost pushing off with your toes, okay, before you step forward again. All right, so if you've done my class before, you're familiar with what I call the breaking point. Okay, if you haven't, this is what it is. All it is is that point for you, where you get to the point where you can barely keep up a speed walk Okay, and it's just easier to go into a jog. That is your breaking point. We kind of all have it at different levels, depending on how long your legs are, depending on you know, how fast you can walk, um, depending on how in shape you are. So we'll find that breaking point here in just a minute. So then we can kind of gauge our class off of that. Okay. Ah. Just take some nice deep breaths. All right, I want you to take your pace up just 0.3. Okay, so I'm gonna take mine to a 4.3. So now we're starting to get to a pretty, pretty brisk walk. Okay, and the faster you go on these walks, the more you have to really pull it into the center. Okay, in order to let those feet Move fast enough. Okay, so today we're gonna take on our first hill, kind of with our warm up. You've had a few minutes, I hope you're feeling pretty good. Okay, I want you to try and keep it at this pace. So it's not as fast as you can walk. We're not at that breaking point yet. This is a pretty good pace for me. I could keep it up for quite a while, okay? From there, I want you to take your incline. We're just gonna slowly start climbing, okay? Starting with the 2.0. This should help us warm up even faster. Okay, so I would rather you take it to the 2.0 and maybe go a little bit slower on your pace if you can, okay? So we're just gonna stay here for a minute or so and then we'll slowly
start up in that incline a little bit more and more, the warmer we get. Okay, are we determined? Are we ready to work hard today? I hope you push play on this class, ready to work hard, right? All right, another about 20 more seconds here. Okay, have you broken sweat yet? Hopefully you're getting there, you're getting warm. All right, five seconds, four, three, two, take it up to a 3.0. Again, my challenge to you is to stick with the incline I'm at. Adjust your speed as you need to before you adjust that incline. Okay, now of course, if you get to the point where it's just too much, you don't need to go as high of an incline as me, okay? But we're only at a three right now. That's just a little, little hill. I hope you got some water close by. Okay, take drinks as often as you need them. Don't wait for me. All right, you got about 15 more seconds. These minutes are gonna go by pretty quick. All right, four, three, two, one. Take it up 1.0. Incline is at a four. I'm still at my 4.3. Okay, if you wanna try going a little bit more, I'm gonna try taking mine to a 4.5. Try it, okay? If it's too fast, you can always go back down. Okay, we're starting to feel that hill. Ah, uh, let's keep looking ahead. You're breathing pretty good right here, okay? You're working a bit, but I hope you're not huffing and puffing, okay? If you are, take it down a little bit. We're definitely not anaerobic. All right, five seconds. Three, two, one, take it up, 5.0. We're doing this so gradually. Pretty soon though, you're gonna start to feel it and start to feel like you need to lean into it a little bit, leaning into that hill. Good, now are you pulled in tight right through that middle? Keep it in tight. That's gonna allow your legs to take quicker steps. Now we're moving, now we're working, I like it. Okay, you got five more seconds here. Take it up, 6.0. If you are at the same pace that you started with and you're feeling pretty good, Take it up, point two. Come on. You guys are doing good. Push yourself a little bit. All right, as a class, as a group, we're only gonna take it to an 8.0. So hang in there. Good, you're starting to tighten up a lot more back here as we're climbing, right? Squeezing the glutes. Five, four, three, two, take it up, 1.0. We're now to seven.
How many of you have never climbed to a seven before? I bet a lot of you, right? Sounds way too steep, too hard to do. Look at you. You're doing it, nice job. Speed walking like this, especially when you add in the hills, you're getting some great toning going on. Okay, besides working that heart, really squeezing through your buns, to the back of the legs, 10 more seconds. Woo, five, four, three, two. Okay, 8.0, two minutes. You ready? Let's do this. Okay, I want this to be a challenge. Okay, I want you to keep it at a speed walk. No jogging yet. If you want to up your speed, try it. Okay, I'm trying a 4.7. Are we at an 8.0? No matter your speed, you're climbing up at 8.0. Nice work. We feeling pretty good? Halfway there, one more minute. Nothing like getting out in those mountains, climbing up a good hill, and getting to the top. The even better thing about this class, we get to climb the hills, but then we don't have to go down them. I'd much rather just stay flat than go down them. So you can climb all you want. Woo! Looking good. You're working. Most of us are probably getting breathless, getting anaerobic. That's what's great. Come on, I want you pushing it. 10 more seconds. Five, four, three, two, and one. Take it down. Incline 1.0. Okay. Let's grab a drink. Nice job. Okay, I'm still at that quick pace walk. Let's recover a little bit. Okay. You should be able to recover keeping that same speed. Okay. Taking the hill out of it. We'll give that heart a break. Take some intensity out of it, letting your heart rate come down, okay? Now, we're not gonna take our treadmill to a zero incline to the very end. I want you to keep it at least at a 1.0, okay? <sighs> okay, I'll give you about 30 more seconds. Taking some nice deep breaths. So I'm still at a 4.7 speed, incline one. Okay, let's find that breaking point. Are you ready? From where you are right now, if you've been walking at this pace, it's not your breaking point yet, okay? Up your speed, 0.2, 0 0.3. See, that's, see we, if that puts you at that point, that breaking point. This is about my breaking point. I'm at a 5.0. Okay, it's getting hard to keep up this speed walk. Be much easier for me to come into a little jog. Okay, if you're not there yet, 
Up at point two, point three. Find that breaking point. Okay, I'm gonna give you 30 more seconds. Find it. Oh, this is a rough speed to keep up at a walk. Are we there? Okay, from your breaking point, we're gonna take things to an easy to light jog. Okay, I'm gonna have you go up 0.5 from your breaking point, okay? So my breaking point was about a 5.0. I'm coming to a 5.5. Now remember, okay, this is not an advanced trekking or treadmill class. We're gonna keep things a little bit on the easier side. If you do not want to come to a jog, you never have to, okay? Probably if you're gonna keep it at a speed walk, you wanna go about 0.3 below that breaking point, okay? So it's challenging for you, yet not too uncomfortable a pace that you can keep up. All right. Just a light, easy jog. Feeling pretty good. All right. Can you just hang here for a little bit? Okay, let's do it. About another minute and a half, maybe a little bit more than a minute and a half. Nice. Are we still at a 1.0? Keep it at that 1.0. Okay. A challenge maybe, the speed. It's just nice and easy, a little jog for you. You can go higher on your incline if you want. Okay. That'll pick things up. One more minute. Nice. Just jog it out. Okay, I hope you're not anaerobic. I want you to still be able to breathe in and out. Okay, you can breathe without mouth closed. If you're with a friend or a neighbor, you can still be able to converse with them. Okay. Woo! Okay, we're feeling pretty good. We're way over halfway done. Nice work. All right, give me 10 more seconds here. Okay, so at this point, we are 0.5 above that breaking point. I want you to drop it down 1.0, okay? Drop your speed down 1.0. So I'm coming to a 4.5. We're gonna start skipping, okay? So you should be about 0.5 below that breaking point. Still at a 1.0 incline. All right. A little change of pace for those legs. Nice, easy skip, okay? If you're nervous about your balance, about tripping on your own feet on this, that's what these handrails here are for, okay? Go ahead and keep a couple fingers on them. Hold on to them if you want. But if you can, we're just gonna let those arms flow. Front and back. Woo! Heart rate. Probably has come up a little bit. Taking more for these skips. All right. Woo. A little bit longer here. Now we're gonna pick up the intensity of our skip. Woo. Nice work. 10 more seconds.
All right, you guys, are you ready? High knee skips, one minute, let's go. Same speed, nothing's changed with your speed. All you're doing, adding that little hop under your feet. And if you can, picking that knee up a little higher. Heart rate definitely going up. Come on, we're only doing this one minute. Hang in there. That's halfway. Again, if you need to hold on, you can still have the little hop holding onto the sides. Woo! Come on, really push up the ball of your feet. Work those calves a little bit. Add that pop. Woo! Five seconds. Two, one, walk. Okay, grab another drink. Looking good. Woo! Oh, there goes my lid. All right, you guys. Speed walk. Okay, I'm 0.5 below my breaking point. I'm gonna pick it up a little bit, okay? If you can, take it up 0.3, maybe just 0.2. I'm coming to a 4.8. Still at a 1.0 incline. Okay, so we're coming down from that high skip. But we're not cooling down. Okay, we're still working, we're still pushing it. Woo! Nice. Stay light on your feet. Good, check those arms. Are they going straight front and back? None of this. Okay, if you start crossing them in front of your body, you're gonna start rotating this way. Wasted energy. Okay, keep it stable here. Front and back with the arms and with the legs. Nice. Okay, pushing that speed. Give me 30 more seconds. And we're gonna attack our second heel. Woo! Speed feeling good. I hope you feel like you're working, pushing yourself, no matter what speed you're at, yeah? The fact that you're doing it, doesn't matter where you're at. Okay, we're all at different levels. So, just keep moving. You're looking great. All right. Now, your option. Keep the same speed if you can. Okay, try it. You can always lower your speed. We're gonna take the incline up, starting at a four, okay? Come up to a 4.0. I'm gonna try and keep this speed, 4.8. Okay, if you get to that incline and the speed is too much, drop it down, starting just point 0.2. See how that feels. If it's still too much, take it down maybe point 0.1 or point 0.2 more. Okay. We're not losing that intensity. We're gonna push it right through to the end of class, okay? We're gonna push it till we have maybe a minute and a half left. Come on, let's go. So we're starting a little bit higher on that hill. We're gonna spend a little bit longer at each incline, about a minute and a half. Okay. All right. Give me 10 more seconds here before we take it up. 
three, two, one. Let's go, 5.0. Get that incline in there, 5.0. Adjust your speed as needed. Don't make this easy though, okay? I'm sweating. I hope you are too, we're working. Nice breathing. Just keeping a steady pace. Got a great hill ahead. We're attacking that hill and pushing ourselves. Nice work. Okay, that's our one minute mark. 30 more seconds. You gotta last with me. Three more minutes through this, okay? Three and a half minutes. So if you're running out of that fire, take that speed down just a little, okay? Enough that you can get through about three more minutes. Five seconds to go. Nice work. Okay, take it up. This time to a 7.0. We're taking an extra skip and a jump. Okay. A minute and a half. Come on. This is as fast as you can walk. And we're climbing. Good. If you have bad knees, okay, and running on the treadmill hurts them, that impact, do stuff like this, okay? The intensity is the same. Your heart rate's gonna be at the same level. You don't have to run. Just add the incline to push yourself. Come on. Think long legs, it'll help you. Okay, 30 more seconds. Let's do it. Come on, let's go, let's go. Okay, you guys, one more minute. Take it up, whatever you can do. 8.0, 9.0, I'm going for a nine. It's your last minute. Give me all you got. Woo. Come on, lean into that hill. We're using every second we've got. Push it. 20 seconds. Oh, feels good. Doesn't it? Heart rates are up. Nice. 10. Five, four, three, two, all the way down. Okay, zero incline. Drop your speed. Okay, I'm coming to a 3.8. Okay, maybe even drop a little less than that. A nice easy walk for you. Take a deep breath. Let your heart rate come down. Woo! How do we feel? Those heart, those heels get those heart rates up. And they push you. 
Nice job, you guys. Drop down 0.5. Nice deep breath. All right, whatever's left in that water bottle, I want you to finish after class, okay? All right, go ahead and push stop on that treadmill, okay, if you're ready to stretch with me. Good work, let's just come off the back, drop those heels, both heels pushing down towards the floor, one at a time, press it down long, other side, press. All right, I want you to bring one leg in front, cross it over, flex your foot, sink into it, pushing your hips back, push that knee down a little bit, get a nice stretch through your glute, opening up the hip as well. Stand it up, switch sides, bring it up, sink it back. Ah. Good, let's go ahead and circle your ankles around, big circles, other way. Other side. Great work today, you guys. Thank you for working so hard. Keep coming back, keep trying it, and it'll get easier every time. Nice job, we'll see you next time.